Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about um, if you should choose a Honda Fit or a Toyota Prius here. Because um, last year with the gas prices being, you know, $4.95 a gallon, I was in the predicament of I, I needed to buy a fuel efficient car because my 21 mile per gallon Mustang wasn't cutting it, pushing me way over budget while I'm going to college here. So I did a lot of investigating into it. And uh, all my life I've always had like sedans. Uh, that's actually been my only coupe is the, the Mustang. But other than that, I've always had sedans. I, I liked having big cars. They're comfy. They can slam through snow drifts. They weigh a lot, but they're not very efficient. Um, cause I, I've had all the Buicks out there. I've had the Park Avenues, the LeSabres, the LeCernes. And there you're all looking at, you know, that, uh, 27 to 28 miles per gallon. And, uh, so I, I looked into the Honda F I'd never even known about the Honda Fit until I was at call at the college campus my first semester and I saw one I was like man that's a weird looking car kind of actually a little bit ugly or whatever but then I decided to, to YouTube about them and it it's amazing what people can haul in them and the kind of gas mileage they get so this is what you're looking at if you get a Honda Fit they're uh, um, they have a big hatchback and you could actually put your garbage dumpster in there and, and I have seen people do that. Um, I actually, in my Honda Fit, because I actually ended up buying the Honda Fit over the Prius, um, I put a 20 ton shop press back there and I put a Chevy transfer case back there. And I also um, wanted it so I could put a, a Chevy uh, transmission in there out of a pickup or an engine in there actually. And uh, they, the, so the Fits, they get 36 miles per gallon and they're not hybrids. All you have to worry about is little tiny 1.5 liter four cylinder engine and uh, so not much maintenance them they're just easy to work on and everything and then uh, the Priuses for that I decided um, I never driven one you know they've been around for 20 years and I've never been in one or nothing didn't don't know much about them so I talked to one of my buddies he's he's had a few of them over the years and he had a 2014 that he ordered in brand new from the factory and uh, like, like I said, you have to look at this that I test drove it here last year in 2022. And he told me that his Prius, that um, with the battery being older and everything, he said that he gets 41 miles per gallon during the summertime and 39 miles per gallon during the wintertime. But he said that, that it does do excellent in the snow. He has studded tires on it. And I was like, man, that's really not much better gas mileage than a Honda Fit at 36. And you don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money replacing that hybrid battery every few years. Um, so, and then also I, I looked at the hatchback, I folded down the back seats and with that glass window that goes up there, there, there it, um, the floor back there is so, um, so high that you can barely even fit anything in there because the hybrid battery takes up that much space. And like, if you put your groceries back there, your cans of chunky Campbell soup are going to roll towards the back and they're going to bust out the rear hatchback window. So I didn't want to have anything to do with that. Um, so it just it just didn't make sense. And then I was also looking at like the prices on the Priuses, and uh, like oh shoot, I, I thought at one point they were up to like thirty five thousand dollars for a Prius, whereas a Honda Fit was like twenty thousand. You'll you'll never burn enough gas in that Honda Fit to justify spending all that money because by the time that that Prius makes up its gas savings, that battery is going to be shot. And then also the parts for the Priuses are very expensive. Talk to the guy, uh, his brake booster went out on it, in which normally they're like uh, $78 for like Chevy pickups and stuff like that. He went on eBay and the cheap aftermarket one for him to install himself was over $700, just stupidly expensive. Um, and then also with me uh, living and working overseas part of the year after I graduate, the Prius didn't make sense for me either because the car could be sitting for a year, year and a half in the garage. And by then the battery would be frozen up here in the Midwest winters here. Whereas the Honda Fit, that just throw a normal 12 volt battery and it'll pop right off. So, um, yeah. And what else about them? Uh, that's, that's about it. Um, like I said, I, the Honda Fit, I, I, I ended up buying a 2008 Honda Fit and, um, I think, I think I paid, 1100 bucks for it and then I had to stick tons of money it was totaled out and uh, just to get it street legal so I have about $4,100 into it but I'm it so it's nothing pretty to look at but like I said it gets up to 36 miles per gallon 
the thing that's fun to drive. Like it, it's just zippy around town and everything. It's just got the automatic in it. And uh, I, I guess I hear the auto, um, the, the automatic transmission in them is just indestructible. I talked to a guy that's 354,000 miles on his and still original engine transmission. It's like, it just keeps going. So uh, um, yeah, like, like I said, and then uh, mine didn't come with cruise control. I went to the um, some aftermarket place, the cruise control store, and I paid like 325 and I installed it myself. It, it was an eight hour project. I'd never done it before, but it works really good. So, <laughs> All right, take care of you guys.